Hello and welcome to this edition of the You Today Report. Bitcoin collapses to the lowest level since early March. Is $30,000 next? Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency, has collapsed to its lowest level since March the 6th, touching an intraday low of $48,388 at 2.26 a.m. UTC on the Bitstamp exchange. As reported by you today, both cryptocurrencies and US stocks took a U-turn after President Joe Biden's new tax proposal came to light. Even though Goldman Sachs believes that its chances of passing Congress are slim, the 43.4% capital gains tax rate has managed to spook the markets. Delta Exchange CEO Pankaj Balami recently told Bloomberg that the top coin had slipped below its critical important 50-day moving average for the first time during this rally, hence he's predicting more downside. In his LinkedIn post, TD Ameritrade anchor Oliver Rennick writes that Bitcoin has run out of steam due to its declining momentum. Bitcoin has had a downside break from its massive rising wedge pattern that had been forming since the start of 2021. Rennick believes that US$30,000 is now a reasonable target for Bitcoin bears, but he doesn't rule out that the cryptocurrency could plunge back below US$20,000. XRP plunges to $0.8, erasing its massive rally. Ripple-affiliated cryptocurrency XRP tanked to $0.88, cents, its lowest level since April the 7th at 2.25 a.m. UTC on the Binance exchange. It has plunged 22% over the past 24 hours. The token has now parred almost all of its April gains that were partially driven by Ripple's minor legal wins in its fight with the US Securities and Exchange Commission. Those who bought the top of the rally on April the 14th are now down a whopping 55%. 62 arrested in connection to a $2 billion Turkish crypto exchange fraud as founder flees Turkey. As reported by Bloomberg, law enforcement agencies have arrested 62 suspects in almost 10 Turkish cities, including the capital Istanbul, with 16 more still on the loose. The arrest took place after the chief of leading Turkish crypto exchange Thodex, Farouk Fatih Oza, fled the country, taking a whopping $2 billion of his customers' money along with him. CEO Farouk Fatih Oza has sent a public message from a hidden location, promising to pay back all the stolen money to investors and come back to Turkey later to face the consequences of his actions. However, local authorities have frozen the bank accounts of the exchange and its head office in Istanbul has been raided. Almost 70 suspects connected with the Thodex exchange have been detained so far, and the police are after 16 more of them. Well, that's all for this edition of the You Today Report. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to keep up to date with everything else affecting the markets, well then, we'll see you again very soon indeed. Until then, goodbye.